Hello, my name is Robert Wise and I'm Victoria's Associate Director for Physical Disability Australia, known as PDA. Today I'm going to show you two methods how I transfer in and out of my G trike. The first one is from the to and from the wheelchair. I bring the wheelchair up, lock the brakes on, lift up the footrest, the armrest, grab the handlebar. slide into the bike. Since I'm an amputee I got full use of this leg so I can use that as a support and get into the bike. Grab the seat belt and strap it on. Release the brake. Move the wheelchair out of the way, I'll push more out the way and then I take off. When I get back, I lock the brake, bring the wheelchair close, lock the brakes, undo the belt, put my leg on the ground since I'm an amputee again, other people might have to do this differently, and I transfer back into the chair. Armrest down, release brakes, and away I go. The second method I'm going to show you is from a standing point of view, using the crutches. I approach the bike, put one crutch over the seat, transfer into the bike by doing that. I can now hook the crutches onto their holder. Lift this leg in and place this crutch into the holder. Strap it down when I'm ready. I usually strap these in and then I'm ready to take off. When I come home, I release the crutches, place them on the ground push down, let this leg out, and that's about it. Coming, coming to you today on the South Gippsland Rail Trail, we're riding back from Currumburra to Lock. I'm just going to take you through some of the features of my bike. This is called an off-road G-trike, supplied by spoton.com, all custom built to my specs independent suspension on all three wheels starting with the back one shockers here underneath here you'll find a shock absorber gives you the and a sporting spear hub gears um, and disc brakes on all three wheels we got independent suspension the shocks on the front both front wheels both with disc brakes controlled by the right hand lever So a park brake locks out a bike won't shift. We have 14 speed gears, which you don't have to actually be pedaling, but the bike's got to be moving to change the gears. And you can go to low range gears by pushing that one in. That means you can be, we climb really steep hills and you've got 14 gears here. And then push that back, and that's just normal cruising. And I also had a Design so I can carry my crutches with me. So they've got crutch hooks, so I probably need to stop. It's also driven by a uh, internal hub motor called a mid drive, and we can change the power assist level from one to five, five being maximum power assist, one being low power assist, and it's controlled to turn it on and off by it's on now. Off. So far we've travelled 26.1 kilometres, that's the time. Power assist is currently set to 1 because I've turned it off and restarted it. As soon as I turn it off and restart it, it starts at 1. Plus and minus brings the power assist up to 3, 4, 5. And this one's 
this is for e-bike it's in bike mode there's also a mode to put it in walk mode but that's how you have to walk the bike time of day trip and if i can't remember how to do this one but i think you just change this and it'll go to total distance traveled not um since i turned it on the very first time so here, 18 kilometers an hour and i had some other features added i can put my own water bottle holder on there